other plans. <laughs> Which we did tell him, like, you know, it, that's generally how we handle it. We don't, uh, if you have a, a one bad event, we're not going to count that against you. Yeah, no, I'm not, we're not. Green Chief. I've never seen Big Mac pick the green Chief. It's normally black or gold, depending, but it might be just a, maybe a situational pick. He's trying to camouflage the PSG. Yeah, team. right? Be, uh, one of, be one of those, like, in game and watch players who choose their color based on the stage. It's the self set. That's the, uh, that's just a cheap point. All right. Uh, theory on Greninja. This Greninja, uh, we had to put it on the PR graphic last season because he took a set off Raven King with it once. So it's not, it's not a, entirely a mean trick. This is a good Greninja. We have like 20 of them in Chicago, but it is what it is. A ninja yeah, we are, here. we are like the, the, the frog home. We got, we got a whole swamp here in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, Big Mac for a while was having a character crisis of a bit. Just uh, didn't really believe in Sheik to the degree that he does now. Yeah. Um, so he had a uh, Aegis, he had Sword going on, but I think Sheik is just is just his bread and butter. Yeah. I mean, he got some good wins with the uh, with the Sora, and I think he won he won a uh, a Blast Zone, which is a smaller one of the smaller Dirt Pit He won them those with Aegis over Panda Bear, so that's pretty solid. Yeah. Oh, ooh, almost had the air dodge right there. A little bit off. Not very, not quite gonna hit. Greninja kind of skinny. <laughs> Just throwing out these down tilts. Yeah, they're, they're even percent, almost. Now they're, they're, yeah, pretty much even. Yeah. The cheek is much lighter, but not gonna matter here. Down smash will take it from the stage. And I mean, also, uh, because we have so many Greninjas, you know, most players in Chicago really understand the Greninja matchup. Pretty well, uh, in comparison to most uh, regions. Yeah, I know Big Mac's had a few sets with Ice Knight, uh, and they usually go pretty close. Oh yeah. So I imagine Big Mac does have a general understanding of what to do here. Well, these two characters are pretty similar archetypes. Both ninjas. They are both ninjas, yeah. <laughs> of course, Ninja does have a hit a little bit harder uh, on summer moves, but both these characters are fast. They're have a good uh, zoning projectile. They rely on kill confirms more so than raw kill moves. Oh, now I don't know if that grenade is what you want, but you got away with it. Oh, God. Yeah. 166, I hope so. Yeah. Get him out of here. All right. Turn with the ledge trap in here. Oh, good. Good attempt with the Hydro Bomb. Yeah. She is deceptively hard to ledge trap. Just, she's so skinny and fast. They both get to have those, uh, those moves pretty quickly. Yeah, also like, you know, the ledge hop, uh, needle into options. You kind of have to be really careful when you're standing by ledge. Oh, yeah. I've seen uh, Big Man get people with that. They're trying to ledge trap him. All of a sudden, he's ledge drop, double jump needle, and then comes the up smash. And, yeah. they, and the opponent is the one who ends up losing it's, the stock. It's one of my favorite confirms in the whole game. A little favorite oh. setups, like you said. Yeah. Looking for a range drop there. I think messed up the input a little bit. Yeah, Viri's got to definitely has to start capitalizing, getting a little bit. All right, this is this is where Viri's got to shine. Yeah, had an opportunity there. Uh, Bouncy fish does let Big Mac get back to stage. Overthrow up there, not quite gonna do it. Get the eye. All right, does down to up smash kill Sheik? At this percent cost? I think it might. I it, think Viri might look for it. At the very least, uh, it might be worth it. Yeah, we'll see. That's what that there means. it is. <laughs> we, you literally called it. <laughs> I'm like, it, I'm just looking at the percent. I'm like, I feel like Sheik's about to get Sheik right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the life you choose as a Sheik player. Greninja's down to up smash is such a reliable kill confirm. See it. Greninja players go for all time. Yeah, you really need to know those percents, but I mean, it's it's such a valuable kill option because Greninja can have struggles killing sometimes. Yeah, if you fall out of your confirm windows, it can be hard to get those wall hits. Speaking of falling out of the confirm windows, Greninja definitely out of sheet confirm windows right now. Is that oh, look for like sure. a back air or maybe a dash attack will take it. Oh, dash attack probably, yep. Oh, not, not oh. there, no. Back air will take it though. 38%, not too bad extra credit. Yeah. You can easily, one or two bread or butters, you can use up to percent here from sheep. Oh, <laughs> ran away from the needles with the Hydro Pump. I always forget that the Hydro Pump does actually do damage. Like, like a little bit, but it does it does do a little bit. Yeah, it's interesting. Because I don't think it did in Smash 4. I think it did. I can't remember it, but it's whatever it's meant and for. No one played, no one played. <laughs> no one played. No one played. Yeah. 
Uh -oh. here in Europe. All right. Uh, Big Mac playing that cheap game. Was just Nickel and Dying their way back into this game. Let's we'll see if it's enough here. Definitely yeah. at that kill percent. For for quite a few moves. Uh, I think up air, uh, drag down, forward smash might take it. Oop. Uh oh. Oh, look. Almost got yeah. it. Yeah, that raindrop might have been it. Oh, 77, that would have probably taken it. Yeah, that cheap up smash to get that sweet spot super strong. Which would have been funny because then we would have had a repeat of uh, the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, the up smash would have been Yeah. All right, now you're at the ledge against Sheik. He's going to look for a bounce and fish that up. He's looking for it. Oh, almost got that last needle. 100 on the dot on Viri here. Or throw a tag and take it yeah. at the eye, especially. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Big Mac almost brought that back. But Viri Greninja, definitely pretty solid. Ice Knight popping off in the crowd saying, I trained that man. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think that, that Greninja is a better in this matchup than, than Rob. Then, yeah, I could see it. Uh, I feel big like body. Big body, know. yeah. Needles are pretty good at disrupting a gyro that's sitting on the ground. It just sends the gyro launching away, which is Greninja. weird, but it does help Cheek out quite a bit in that matchup. So, Viri not going to actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Viri has quite a bit of experience in this matchup. In Florida, he has to play against a Cheek player named Music a lot. Ooh. So you should, maybe the Greninja pick is because, oh, I fought Fusix. My Greninja usually is better there. I may be able to do better against Bitbank as well. And so far, it's looking like that might be the case, picking game one here. And right now, we're 15, 20 seconds in. It's pretty even. The Big Mac keeping Fury off the stage. I love the little needles just to cashier that. Like, there's only 3%, but I mean, every percent I can get. Yeah, and you might get lucky catch, catch, as you're doing the air dodge. Now they might just SD. Oh, yeah, they buffer it. Yeah, yeah they buffer it. The good old uh, air dodge buffer system. Whoa, smash. Trying to grenade just to cover yourself with the ledge. Nah, not quite in that percent yet. Maybe Especially like, now with that rage. Yeah. 20, yeah, about 20 more percent on Sheik here. That might be enough to do it. Yeah, I think I might have been able to combo. I I believed. I believed that was going to hit. Yeah, if Greninja wasn't so skinny, that probably would have hit. True. There he has a very thin frog. Especially on the ground. Yeah. All right. Get back to stage. Looking for tech Tech here. Does not find it. Perfectly tied right now. Big Mac does break it, though. Let's see if he gets his left trap. Big Mac's luck trapping is one of the best in Chicago. And, and uh, first stock is very important in this matchup. Uh, I think there's a little bit. Oh, good. Up tilt catch. Yeah, I'm surprised the up tilt beat the down air and didn't get traded at all. All right, just jab. Order not taking it across the stage. Ooh, he was zooming. Yeah, they're both so, they're both living basically tied percent again. All right, down tilt in the up air. That'll do it. She, Big Mac has said it before. She has pretty much a kill confirmed at like pretty much any percent window. Yeah, you just you, the hard part is knowing which one's gonna work. Cause there's so many options, but it's so frame uh, like percentage specific. Yeah, he's got like in his memory bank like ten different cheat kill confirms that'll work at various percents, and you have to know which one is right for each moment. Yeah, cause I, I mean <laughs> I tried to I did try to pick up cheat for for a bit back in 2020. And essentially, the important thing with Sheik is like, you need to know every single setup and exactly what how you want to end every combo. That's the important part. Because yeah. you want to optimize your damage so bad with this character. Because every window you have, you know, obviously, damage is the key in this in this game. Yeah. All right, we're seeing here Big Mac has the damage lead. Of course, if uh, Viri finds that one like dash attack opening, that could be a lot of damage for Grimminta. Yeah, dash attack, such, a, such an important move for Grimminta uh, in this game, especially. There was. Back row. Oh, trying to find a back air. Not getting it. Yeah, good. Oh. Nice try up air. Yep. That's how is Yuri going to recover? Good shadow sneak. Yeah, trying to just right to not get hit by that grenade. She put that grenade out there a lot. You don't see people get hit by it very often, but it forces them to change out their recovery, which is probably what their real goal is. 
Yeah, and also the fantastic uh, meal and Valkyrie fish. But, but I mean, the whole point is it's, it's very uh, safe option to kind of throw out a lot of yeah. the time. Especially if you do that ledge. Yeah, if it does hit, then you, it usually takes starts pretty early. You know? yeah. Might as well take it. Right now, Big Mac with a full stock lead. Very strong game number two for him. Yeah, he's starting to adapt really well. He's doing a lot more needle camp camping in this game. Especially now that he has percent lead. There's no, no reason for not to. Like I said, in this game, it's very much who has the lead that's important. Yeah, Big Mac sees no reason to approach here. Let Viri come to you. You have the needle. You have the percent lead. Oh, or you could go for a, a very aggressive down air. So much the for Big Mac approaching. special. He loves. Oh my god. The turnaround too. I forgot. Yeah. I forget you can do that with that move. I forgot that did that, and also I had no idea what happened for a second. Yeah. Such a clever option for Viri. But not quite. Not quite. All right. We'll see if Big Mac can close up, finish this plate here. It's yeah, scary. But, yeah, I was, I was about to say, Greninja with this much rage is, is a very scary thing. Much better uh, strength with that at this much rage. Oh, uh, he, he saw like the SDI happening right there. Here's crazy with the SDI right now. Oh, oh, I think the wind of the uh, grenade messed him up a little bit. I think so too. Oh, I, think, I think he might have expected. I think he might have been wanting to go for a wall, a wall jump. Yeah, something like that. It looked like he pressed back, and then nothing happened, other than just nudging back a bit. Yeah. The wind box on the grenade. Little jank, but we'll take that game for Big Mac. We're going to go game number three. I wonder what stage we're going to go to. Wouldn't be surprised to go back to Pokemon Stadium 2, but also, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, that's a very popular. I don't really think it's a great stage for Ninja Greninja. I mean, this is just Pokemon Stadium 2 with, what, small, uh, lower ledges? Or, uh, platform? Oh, he's going Rob. Oh, okay. Rob? Okay. I feel like if he left town open, I was like, oh, Viri's going to go to town and go to go Rob. But I think he banned town. Probably aware of that, but small battlefield, also a good Rob stage. Stone Gun and Rob doesn't really have bad stages, to be fair. So we'll see how this goes. One game one with the Greninja. Of course, Viri, as I said, quite a bit of practice in this matchup, but I imagine Big Mac would have to have Rob practice, too. If you don't have Rob practice <laughs> in Smash Ultimate, then... It's true. That, that's very surprising. Ultimate? Yeah. <laughs> You live exclusively under a rock. Yeah. You well, are what, Patrick. What region do you live in, and when can I move? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty even start so far, though Big Mac is a bit higher percent here. Yeah, it's going to be the, the Metal of a Thousand Scratches versus you might just die any time that you show up. Yeah, and Viri's a master at that. He's so good at doing the double toss uh, barrel combos. Take it's it's such a valuable uh, ability to have. Uh-oh. Okay. Peek with a good uh, item. That's a scary yeah. thought. And Big Mac does grind out uh, certain setups with items, so you gotta be careful with them. Oh, I've right. seen it with a banana. Yeah. I think tried to bounce jar off the stage to catch it though. Messed up a little bit, and yeah, they're done. Tried to go high, but Rob Rob loves when you try to go high versus him, because he can go up there. Yeah, and that, that makes it easier for him to kill sometimes. But I, I wonder if. Uh, Fury going for Ninja game one and two might have been a little bit of a mind, a mind game. Because now uh, he's coming in for Rob Fresh, and Big Mac can't really. He can't. All the downloads and reads he has are now void. Yeah. Tried to go for the read again with the up smash. Fury not rolling left, though. So. Now, what a hit, Rob. Rob's definitely much bigger than Greninja. Ooh, DI mixed up, but Fury DI's right, I think. Yes, I believe so. I think that DI'd uh, away to the right. All right. Very thrown out these very large uh, limbs. Yeah, not a lot of extra credit right now, but Viri is living for a while. All right, finally <laughs> gonna take the stock. Only 32%. Honestly, not that bad. And that gyro actually did help uh, Big Mac out a little bit. Let him kind of squeeze in. All right. So needles not interacting with gyro the way I thought it would. Usually, sometimes if it has gyro while it's landing, sometimes gyro just goes flying off stage. Yeah, I think I think it depends on like which air part of the gyro gets hit. Yeah, gyro is a very weird projectile, and like it's very bizarre. It's programmed so that the more the faster it goes, the more damage it does. The more, depending on where you hit it, it depends. You have to grab a certain way to pick it up. It, you have, you it, have to throw it, and the way it knocks back is based on how it's thrown. Yeah, there, there's like two thousand lines of code dedicated <laughs> into how Rob's gyro works. So many specifics. Okay, 
good DI from uh, Big Mac there. Not re not recovering uh, above that time. Yeah, goes right down to the stage. Oh, that gyro saves Viri from a potentially deadly lead trap. She no. does. She actually runs underneath the gyro throw. Oh yeah, she runs pretty well. Again, ninja. Ninjas versus robots. <laughs> I feel like that was a splat uh. test at some point. Oh, that had to have been. <laughs> All right. All right, up. down throw? No up throw. I wonder if I'm up with taking a stock. I feel like it's good. That would have taken a stock, yeah. yeah that's okay, it. now you're right. Yeah, Peek is not heavy. No. That Peek is lighter than a Pikachu and Kirby, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, okay, very good attempt from Fury. Try to get that down down tilt uh, set up. Set up, I don't know what that is. Just more damage. All right, laser. Yeah, Big Man kind of shake his head there. He's like, oh, I should not get hit by that. Damage is adding up quickly. Starting to snowball a bit here. I think Max really got to see off the stock in the next few seconds or else Fury, you know, Rob, one of the best characters getting kills, uh, especially with this much rage. Yeah, Rob is very much a snowball character. If you can't if you can't take that revenge stock quickly, you might find yourself on the verge of a two stock here. That's Big Mac might be. Fury's all in the air. Oh, good jab from Big Mac not letting, oh yeah, Fury's just gonna stay up there. Wait for the gyro to respawn. Toss it back to find himself back to the ledge. That's back not. Big Rob, big boy. Nice. All right, Big Mac's last stand here, 86%. Let's we'll see if he can make up this comeback. Yeah, I'm sure Fury uh, is aware of the fact that Big Mac really seems to want to grab these these gyros. Sometimes as an item player, you just kind of want to take advantage of that. Oh, but the classic Rob back is uh, not enough, living. actually. That's it. Oh, yeah. See our classic Rob setups. Put that gyro right there, wait for the neutral get up, pop some right into you for the up yeah. smash. And Fury will take game three with the Rob. Catches roll two, very good option. Yeah, it's very hard to, for some characters to get past that. The best option is ledge drop, double jump, and then air dodge to catch the gyro. Yes. But if they're ready for that, of course the Rob can punish that too. So there's no full proof way to get through it. All right, so it looks like that is our set, our, our time. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be swapping comments.